when they, when they plugged this before commercial break, Joey Styles was talking about something about how Morrison has no chance in hell or something, but he brought up the word hell. And then he said very ominously, speaking of hell, and they aired a promo for Kane versus Big Daddy V. And hell was unleashed. Hell walked the earth. And the best was when this went through commercial and he goes, we'll be right back. And I thought, will I? <laughs> well, I will not be back. <laughs> People have seen Big Daddy V. They're aware he's fat. I don't care if he's listening. He's very, very fat. He has <laughs> enormous pendulous breasts. There was a point here where he made a cover and I realized he's so fat, he has extra fat between his boobs. He's very blubbery. <laughs> There's not supposed to be fat there on anyone, but he has it. He's a gross man. He is foul. So they had a horrible match, and then Mark Henry ran in, and then who came out next but the great Kali. Kali! Now, let me explain something to you, okay? People are going to say that this is co- to- totally biased, and I'm fine with that because it is, but here's the reality. It made absolutely no sense for Mark Henry to run in. And it made absolutely no sense for great Kali to run in after Mark Henry. Exactly. But the key is that this set up a four-way <laughs> that is going to rule. That is going to be the greatest match in the history of ECW, and therefore this is acceptable. Uh, it's acceptable. Well, you talked about it in the. Let the, me the... tell you why these four giants ran in. They ran in strictly so that we could have a monster mash battle royal on Halloween yeah. Eve. All Hallows Eve, yes. Awesome. Well, it's like what the the the. Logicals and the Vince's illegitimate son storyline. They were there, but they were necessary to tell the story. Yes. There was no logical reason for Mark Henry to come out and attack these men, but it was necessary to set up the match. I am so excited for this match. I and the promo that they had. They, yes, and that's the, what I was gonna the, the end the, at the end of ECW, the show is over, the little graphic goes up, I'm getting up, I'm getting ready to go, and then the promo started. They aired a promo. I don't know words cannot do this justice. No. But, but they took this match between Kane and Big Daddy V, and Mark Henry, and the Great Kali. And they had Halloween graphics with jack-o'-lanterns and bats and gravestones. And I believe they resurrected Vincent Price to do the voiceover. They made it sound like it was not going to be a wrestling match. It was going to be a terrifying film, the type of which Elvira would introduce on Saturday afternoon. Yes. Yes. They, they, they made no mistake. They are not advertising a sport here. They are advertising a monster movie that's going to take place in the wrestling ring. Yeah. And I'm more than fine with that. Now, listen. Here's another reason that WWE is better than TNA. This is another reason TNA sucks. If you ever watch TNA, at the beginning of the show, they've got James Earl Jones, the knockoff, with his deep voice doing a promo package about something or other. And it's always, without question, it's always that what you're watching is the most important thing in the history of wrestling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. If TNA... They once refer to themselves as the nexus of humanity. If TNA... If this match had fallen into their lap, they would have the Darth Vader guy in a deep voice announce that this is the biggest match in the history of professional wrestling. Yes. And the nexus of humanity. And God knows what else he would say. WWE has this match. They realize what it is. Utter shit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a joke. It's four monsters that will have a horrible battle royal, and it will be the, 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 a debacle the likes of which we may have never seen. And thus, that's what they did for the promo. That's what they did for the video package. This is comedy. It is. It, it, it's it's a big gag. And I've made the comment before. I believe in Vince Russo. I assume it was his fault, but... He hates wrestling so much and is so embarrassed by it that he always would disguise the ring. There would be an Italian street scene or candles everywhere or uh, Abyss's platform raising down from the ceiling. And there would always be stuff hiding the ring so you couldn't tell what it was. And I criticized him for it. This time, for this match, this Monsters Battle Royal on Halloween, I hope they go all out. I hope these men come walking out through a... Model cities. Yes. <laughs> I want to see them climb a great mountain to get into the ring. Yes. I want cobwebs and tombstones and chains everywhere. I want a spectacle. We may get it. I will get one. God, I'm, I'm so excited. And we're going to preview the biggest match in the history of professional wrestling. Perhaps literally. Yeah, I was going to say. This may, in fact, be the biggest match in the history of professional wrestling. It takes place tomorrow night on ECW. It is the ECW... Monster Mash! Yeah. 
Yeah, it's going to be great. I, I sent out a request for songs uh, that people would put together to celebrate this occasion, and sure enough, we had people we had people put up. I guess is the best way to put it. We had songs created. I wasn't sure early on if we were actually going to get them, but really started a business started to pick up at the end of the week. So here's a quick example of one of the many songs that we shall be playing tonight here on this show. Smash Battle Royal. <laughs> It's all Hallow's Eve, and there's a match that will make you believe. Four monsters that could only be loved by a mother. Will do battle in a ring, in a fight like no other. Mark Henry, Kane, the great Kali, and <laughs> Big Daddy V are ready to Best talk promo ever. in an ECW Monster Mash Battle Royal. <laughs> Big Daddy! Get out of here, Big Daddy! Get out of here, Big Daddy! Yeah! And in that Monster Mash Battle Royal, I will be the dominant force. <laughs> Big Daddy! Get out of here, Big Daddy! Yes. Excellent. Tomorrow, even the Tonight. owl, even the owl is excited. I was trying to figure out what that strange noise was. I guess it's an owl. I assume it's an owl. I just thought it was a, a, a hunchback. Sure, it could be <laughs> Igor. Tomorrow, it's the great Kali, Mark Henry, Kane, and Big Daddy V in the Monster Mash Battle Royal. A Monster Mash Battle Royal. They're all going to be in the ring together on ECW, and I can only hope that this will be all that I've imagined that it will be. Ever since I saw the promo, some of which you just heard in that previous song, ever since I heard that promo, I've been filled with excitement for this match. Like a child. I'm excited for Halloween. It is, yes. And I hate holidays. (laughs) I've mentioned many times. I hate them. But Halloween, I'm so excited about because of this... This this great battle royal. So throughout the evening tonight, we will play some more songs. I believe we've got five songs that have been created. I suspect that is the perfect number. That's right, especially for this. So that's Raw, everybody. And I think it's time now for a, another Monster Mash song here on the Brian and Vinny Show. Monster Mash Battle Royal. <laughs> Already played that one. I was working in the lab. Here we go. Late one night, when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. Yes. My monster from his slab began to rise. Yes. And suddenly, to my surprise, he did the, mash. He did the monster man. The monster man. Yes. It was a graveyard yes. smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. Yes. He did the monster man. That's my kind of song. Just, just <laughs> th- throw some random Kali in there. All right. We're going to quickly go down some Derby City Wrestling here. I know that when Vince gets on a roll, this could be an hour-long segment, so we're going to have to cut it a little bit short. As mentioned, songs are archived on the board. Songs such as this one right here. It is a battle. Everyone has waited for. People are in fear when they hear the name. Oh my god! This is no wrestling match. This is no fight. This is no war. This is a massacre between four monsters. The man who can't walk without breaking his knee in half, Mark Henry. The Punjabi Nightmare. The Great Collie, The Fire Freak, Kane, and The 500 Pounds Jiggle Mountain, Big Daddy V. This match will burn the house down. It will change your life forever. You will not be the same after this. Be ready and prepared for V. <laughs> no idea what's going on. <laughs> but I don't care! But it will change your life forever. It will. The 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 fire beast, is that what he called, uh, Kane? Fire freak, I think you said. <laughs> fire freak. 
I can't wait for that match. All right, let's get into shout-outs. Now listen, I don't know if everybody's aware of this or not, but tonight on ECW, there's a great match. Mm-hmm. It is the ECW Monster Mash Brawl Battle Royal. Kane, Mark Henry, the great Kali, and Big Daddy V. What a match this is that I can remember everything about it. It is. This ain't like TNA where, where they plugged they plugged a tag title match for this week, and I have no idea what it is. And more important, well, yeah, clearly and more you don't importantly, care. I don't care. Right. I don't give a goddamn about anything TNA is doing right now. You could go look up what the tag match is, but why? No, and I really don't give I don't give a goddamn anything that's going on on SmackDown. I don't care about a thing really that's going on on Raw, except I, I think the uh, the DX versus versus Randy Orton and Umaga match is going to be great. So that I'm excited about that. But really, I'm more excited than anything else about this Monster Mash Battle Royal, and it's going to be so bad, it's be so horrendous. I can't even fathom what this is going to be like. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they'll take a page out of DCW, like they did when they stole the line from my promo about Ren and Mules. I hope that they take a page out of the DCW playbook and build the entire show around the Monster Bash. Oh, I like the show begins and and maybe here's what you got to do: you got to go backstage at the beginning of the show and just start asking people about the Monster Bash, and they all got to be in costumes. All of the ECW yes. crew has got to be in a costume tomorrow night. Fine idea. Including all the monsters. I want someone dressed up as Godzilla. I want someone dressed up as King Kong. I want someone dressed up as Mothra. And I don't know who else. But Gamera. I'm sure you can think of a monster. I want these four men all dressed up like monsters. And I want you to go around to each guy on the brand in their costume and ask them, who do you think's going to win? And they, they need to give a prediction. And you need to go from man to man. And in each segment, you've got to interview one of the monsters who's got to do something scary and growl and roll his eyes back in his head and say that he is going to win the monster mash. And then you can have 20 minutes for this match for all I care. So this is just the first 40 minutes of the show with which commercials is about, you know, 25, 20 minutes or whatever. Mm -hmm. So then you you got to do the match. And like, like you've suggested, you've got to have tombstones surrounding the aisle. Trees and buildings. Fog. There fog. needs to be fog. That's right. Each corner of the ring should be the Empire State Building. Each sure. of the yes. posts. Yes. And uh, yeah, and then the guys got to all get into the ring. You got to make a big spectacle out of it, and then they just got to hit each other. <laughs> That's about it. Yes. There needs to be. There needs to be the the entrance ring needs to be filled with villagers, and then as the monster comes out, they all scatter and flee in terror. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Have all the wrestlers in the ring, and when they come out, they can all just run away and jump into the crowd. All the wrestlers, all the wrestlers in their costumes, need to be in the front row with the fans surrounding the ring, watching this great spectacle. Yeah. And I think that every time that somebody gets thrown over the top rope, one of the Empire State Buildings needs to blow up, <laughs> just <laughs> flame and fire. No problem with that at all <laughs> whatsoever. Yes, and they should they should actually from from the ceiling hang helicopters. I was going to say biplanes, but helicopters works. Helicopters I, and biplanes. I want to see. I, I I picture Mark Henry, but really it'll work for anybody. But I want to see them have to walk through power lines. I want power lines erected <laughs> across the way. Sure. And I want them to raise their fist up and bring them down, and sparks fly everywhere. Well, that's what Kane needs to do for his entrance. Is he needs to come out and he needs to go like this on the power lines, and everything needs to explode. Explosions. I I want to see. I want to see a, a a watery pool, and no one knows what it's there for. And then they, they, there's time for the intros, like. Kane's music starts and he rises up out of the sea. He could sea. come out of the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, he, and then there's battleships there. He could destroy the battleships and walk on land and go into the, the ring. That'd be great. What, what other monster stuff can they do? They, we need. This will be great. Th- 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 this. That's all you need to know, everybody. This will be great. This will, could be great. I will bring Halloween candy. I have, we feeling, watch this. I have a feeling I'm going to be let down, but no. This should be great. I'm going to say that. The only way we can be let down is if they don't do anything. If it's just a battle royal of the four big guys. That's, that will be lame. That would, in fact, be very lame. But that, that, may, that very well may be what they do. In oh. which case, I will curse this promotion I whatsoever. Will punch you. After all that they did building this up with that awesome video package, which they've aired on all the shows, they've got to make this a new gigantic spectacle. And my prediction for the winner, unfortunately, I think it's going to be Kane eliminating Big Daddy V. 
I want Big Daddy V to be the final winner, but I know he's not going to be. I think it's going to be Kane, and I'll be sad. But what can you do? I will say the Great Kali. Really? I'll go with the Great Kali. You're wrong. I don't have any reason. Kali's, He's tallest. Kali's been on the downslide lately. That's his, true. His career has not been, been going well. They've done what they can with him, I think it's safe to say. Mark Henry was pinned on SmackDown, so I don't think there's any chance of that man winning. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's going to be it's going to come down to Big Daddy V and Kane, and I think Kane is going to throw him out because he's the baby face, and all the little children will go home happy, and, and this will be the show. So, that is next to the point. He's the only good monster in this Monsters Battle Royal. That's right. So with that preview out of the way, everybody, we are going to end the show with our final song, a fifth song that has been created just for the Monster Bash. Here you go. I feel gnarly tonight. That was awesome. I don't know if the match can. I don't know if the match can stop that. Oh no! I, I was gonna say we should skip the show, but come on now. Well, that's it, kids. Tomorrow, tonight, the Monster Bash. I hope it's all we've hoped for. Good night. I guess we have to move from that to the Monster Mash, which kind of gets the Monster Mash off to a dour note here, discussing it. Play this song um, again. <laughs> I may as well. Well, no, I'll hear the piano music. Let's play a, a different uh, Monster Mash anthem here. Let's see what this one is. I was working in the lab. Late Failure of the music. Now it's just a preview. It's all Hollow's Eve, and there's a match that will make you believe. Four monsters that could only be loved by a mother. <laughs> Will do battle in a ring, in a fight like no other. Mark Henry, Kane, the great Kali, and Big Daddy V are ready to toil in an ECW Monster Mash Battle Royal. <laughs> Big Daddy! Daddy! Big Daddy! Big Daddy! And in that Monster Mash Battle Royal, I will be the dominant force. <laughs> Big Daddy! Daddy! Big Daddy! Big Daddy! Yeah. You cannot hear Vincent Price say Big Daddy V without giggling, can I you? I can't. I just can't. I giggle every time. You know, this. we had a lot of, of ideas about how this match should be done, and they did not deliver as we had... We had expected. They didn't have planes, biplanes hanging from the ceiling or anything like that. But I got to say that I had more fun watching this show than any show maybe in years. I had a wonderful time. Part of it was because you brought over Halloween candy. Candy. And it was actually the day before my dieting really started. So I I ate about 15 of those Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Awesome. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Butterfingers, a good time was had by all. I don't know about the Butterfingers. It was, the point is, we had candy there for this Halloween show. We ate a bunch of candy, and we watched a goddamn great episode of ECW. And, and while they did not do all they could have with the Monsters Bash Battle Royale, the promos they had were... They were great for what they were. Unbelievably great. Yeah. And they had coffins and skeletons and mummies and graves and the whole nine yards it, out there. They by had the a Halloween way. set. Yes. It was for the whole show, not just for the Monster Mash Battle Royal. But the point is, 
this is not just another episode of ECW. Yes. This That's is why the Halloween was great. show. That's why it was great. Then we had a Kane promo talking about how some people will consider the Monster Match a nightmare, but for him it was a dream come true. He, he zoomed in in his eye, and there were all kinds of wavy camera effects, and it was trying to be scary, and it was... It, it was not as great as the other promos they would do later, but it was fine. He laughed and cackled and said, Trick or treat! Yes. It was great. Then we had, uh, what do we have? Miz and... Kali promo. Oh, yeah. Great Kali cut a promo. No. Actually, Vincent Price cut a promo for him. Yeah. I nearly wept. Miz and John Nor- Morrison, number one contenders match. You need to describe this promo more. Well, go for it. The key is, they were, it, it was shots of... The shots, the, the promos for Kali, uh, Big Daddy V, and Mark Henry were all very similar. It was shots of them looking scary and killing men in grainy black and white footage with Vincent Price speaking, and he was using words you would never use in a wrestling promo, only in a horror movie. I didn't write down the Kali promo word for word, but I wrote down the best part, which is when it said he was driven by malice. That, for example, you would never see in a pro wrestling promo. We should note that Vincent Price is, in fact, dead. This was a Vincent Price imitator. I knew that if that any that of would you are concerned, in the, in the Brian is wrong yes. folder, because <laughs> now uh, fairies. Something about fairies on the board today that uh, or elves, <laughs> elves or something like that. that okay, it indicated my wrongness for this entire show. When we have used the phrase Vincent Price, we've in fact meant the guy a WWE fake. hired who sounds like Vincent Price to do these promos. Just like it's not actually Darth Vader on TNA. I know it's hard to believe. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, very rushed. And then finally we had the main event, the Monster Mash Battle Royal. I, I must cut you off again because in between these two segments, they aired the Mark Henry and the Big Daddy V promos, which I've kind of described. The Mark Henry one, not a lot to say, more of the same. The Big Daddy V promo, as it showed Big Daddy V grimacing. That's all I can say, just grimacing. It said, delivering agony and serving up misery, Big Daddy V knows no remorse. Awesome. These were great promos. <laughs> These were great. So we had the match, which is great. Cully, Mark Henry, Kane, and Big Daddy V. I can't do justice to this match. It, it wasn't as great as I had imagined. Actually, I can't even say that. It wasn't as wacky as I'd imagined. It was just as great. The best part of the match, the defining moment of this match, Big Daddy V was going to give Kane the spinning sidewalk slam. They fucked it up. Now, often when you fuck up a move, green wrestlers will just try it again. More uh, experienced wrestlers will... will Just move on. They'll move on or they'll try a a different way to get into it so it doesn't look so obvious. They just tried it again, and they fucked it up again. They they have 20-some years of pro wrestling experience. (laughs) Yes. I I have seen... As hard as this is is to believe, I have seen Finley have a boss spot in his match, and they repeated it, but it was like a minute later. And they filled time with other stuff, so it wasn't quite so obvious. Kane and Big Daddy V, who have, as I noted, more than two decades of pro wrestling experience between them, they fell to the side slam, tried it again, and fucked it up again. Yes. Great comedy. Is this? I could. There, there was so much to enjoy here, but I, I, my favorite moment was actually the very first spot, wherein, as noted, Kane's the only babyface monster. So the match begins. Everyone's in a corner. The bell rings, and the three heels go after Kane. And they're stalking him, and they're, <laughs> they're getting closer and closer. And at the last second, Kane, Kane, mind you, ducks down, runs between two of them, and pops up behind them. And they all slowly turn around. <laughs> yes. Kane was too quick for them. Well, he is. And and this caused dissension among the heels. Big Daddy V shoved Mark Henry. We had some black-on-black crime. It was <laughs> Then there was... Horrible wrestling. Horrible wrestling all over the place. Clumsy. Just three, four clumsy men, really. The judo chop was in there. A horrible judo chop. I can't even... This judo chop, I can't even... That would be offensive to judo to to, uh, call this a judo chop. But anyway, Kane eliminated V first. So Big Daddy V, the, the only ECW guy on the ECW show, eliminated first. Nearly killed him. Kali put the head squisher on Kane. Henry broke it up. They teamed up and tossed Kali, who also was nearly killed. Then we had the uh, two SmackDown guys finishing up the ECW Monster Mash. What can you do? The goddamn woman from SmackDown was screaming, Come on, Kane! And he came off the top with something, and Henry caught him in a bear hug and basically gave him a belly-to-belly over the top to the floor. 
And uh, I realized I'd predicted... Who did I predict? You predicted Big Daddy V. I predicted Kane because he's only baby face. Didn't I? I'm pretty sure you did V. I picked Kane, so it's not like I was right. Anyway. Regardless, you were wrong. The point is, I, I actually should have known when, when Mark Henry did that clean job to Kane on SmackDown, that should have just been an eye-opener <laughs> right there. That either means you're fired or you're about to get a big win. And he wasn't fired, so... Uh, you got a big win. There you go. Mark Henry won the inaugural Monster Mash Battle Royal. I see inaugural because I want ECW to do this every year. They suggested this was the first... I, I swear to God, if they had the, just the super heavyweight brawl every year at Halloween, that would be something to look forward to. They gotta, they gotta improve on it every year, though. They gotta get stuff. They gotta get airplanes hanging from the ceiling and, and Empire State buildings for turn for uh, corner posts. It's, they can do more. It's how, I'm, I'm happy with what we got. Yes, there is room for improvement. This was a great start. This was a great start to the Monster Mash. It can only go up from here. Yes. actually, it could go down. It could actually go significantly <laughs> it could down. Go much farther down, but there's, 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 there's time.